Thanks for clicking weather on demand. I'm Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. Well, it was a Valentine's Day blizzard. The official high was only 6 degrees, 9 degree, 19 degrees colder than average. Put it together with a brutally cold overnight low, about 14 degrees colder than what you would expect these days. And talk about winds. We had some serious wind gusts, 61 mile an hour gusts at Keweenaw Point. Cop Arbor reporting a 53 mile an hour gust and so on all across Upper Michigan. Uh, we look at those winds and of course that's going to bring reduced visibility and we saw terrible visibility and conditions were white out to blizzard, especially along the shoreline at the 8 o'clock hour. We're still watching those gusty winds peak wind gusts exceeding 30 miles an hour through much of the evening and even into the overnight hours before quieting down. Bitter cold temperatures into the negative realm already and wind chills are responding with negative numbers right through the 30 degree below zero mark. Latest satellite images show some clearing as high pressure builds in as a pretty substantial high pressure ridge and that means some dry air. But with those north winds, we're still seeing the best snow shower action up into the Keweenaw Peninsula and along that superior shore line that has just taken a beating on this Saturday. There's that big high and that does mean clear skies. Uh, we're watching this latest system working through the Dakotas. Really nothing to write home about, but this uh, system that stopped by uh, through the evening and overnight is now becoming an intense nor'easter. That's going to tap into abundant moisture off of the Atlantic coastline. Meanwhile, our forecast model trying to get a grip on what's happening. Of course, there are some bitter cold uh, temperatures waiting in the wings up into Canada, and we'll get a taste of that not just tonight, but over the next several nights. So our forecast model keeps some of that snow shower action along Superior, and it'll hang out up into the Keweenaw Peninsula as well. And then that latest system, you know what? It's going to be encountering lots Lots of drier air, so it does look like it'll be fizzling out. Nonetheless, I think we're still watching some snow shower action, it's mainly Sunday evening into your Monday night uh, before that system pulls away. And then we'll be watching uh, some lake effect. Watch what happens Monday uh, into our Tuesday, actually Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures really tumble again. We're going to be struggling uh, to break above zero through much of next week with mainly lake effect right into your Friday. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.